sometimes it takes man's best friend to get the job done. The Washington County Sheriff's Office training their canine units to get bad guys in tight places. KGW photojournalist Kurt Austin tagged along for a very unique training experience. I'm Corporal Mike Aiken and this is my canine partner Stark. All right, buddy. Right now we're doing some training for attic insertions. Basically, if a uh, we have a suspect up in an attic, stay, and we're looking to go up and uh, locate him and take him into custody, the safer way for us to do that is to use a canine. So we're not exposing ourselves to any potential dangers up there as we go up into an attic. I've found probably, I don't know, maybe four or five people up in the attics over my year. Uh, and they've all had really good hiding spots once they get up there. So they usually have time to get up there, find a good spot, cover themselves, or get into a secreted location where we can't see them with our eyes. All right, buddy. He's always oh, ready to go. This is our, our new attic insertion tool, which is made by First In Canine. Basically what it is is it's a clamp with teeth that we attach to a pole, and we'll stick it up in the attic, find a joist, for it to go on to. Good oh boy. Yeah, come here. You wanna go find a bad guy? So what I'll do is I'll turn on the camera. The camera will transmit right to a monitor on my wrist. I'll bring Stark over hey, here. Come here, buddy. Let's go find a bad guy. Good oh boy. This is all about training. We're teaching the dog how to get used to this piece of equipment. Okay. Brand new oh. piece of equipment. We were able to use it once already on a, on a real world deployment and it worked textbook. Up, 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 up. Okay. Give, search. Take him. See through the monitor. He's on our decoy. He's over here. So in Tualatin, it was a, there was a domestic violence suspect that they were looking for. They called Beaverton to go check his home address. And then they found uh, some evidence that he had, was hiding up in the attic at his apartment. So we hooked this up. I sent Stark up. As Soon as he got up there, suspect surrendered. It worked. It worked perfectly that time. Like I said, that was textbook deployment. You want to do it again? Go find that guy. Up. Up. We didn't have any kinks, anything like that. Oh, it was nice, wide open, Up. and not every time it's going to be like that. So that's what days like today are for. There we go. We saw this at a National Canine Conference in Washington, D.C. this past summer. Take him. Showed it to us, demonstrated it to us. This was a tool that we could definitely use. Good dog. Trying to figure out what we need to do to better deploy these dogs in a safe manner for them and us. Got him. Coming down. Good boy. And that's that's what training days are all about. Good dog. Go get your toys. Yeah, y'all go boy. He's a good boy. Good dog. He is a good dog. I wow, love that dog. Stark is impressive. I know. He's going up on the pulley and his tongue was hanging out. <laughs> it's no wonder the bad guys surrender yeah, as soon really. as the dog comes up in the attic. Great story.